Cradle of Light. Yeah, things like that don't happen in just 500 years. This is probably going to be where we get the second part of the quest, the, the trials or whatever. So this is where we get our Kingmaker. Oh, they're like, oh, this is the trials. Cradle of Light. A wanderer, seekest thou to prove thyself a king? Talking statues. Hi. Very well, the trials of knowledge and courage await. Yep. Leave thy companions behind thee and go forth. So this is the trial. That means this is would be what happens right after Alma Moon. In the first game. Oh. Trial of Knowledge. This story, like any other, is possessed by a beginning, a middle, and an end. Trace the trail of this tale to, pa to pass the trial. Or go back on thyself and fail. Mm. Approach beginnings like begin the trial to start. The aim is to follow the story in the correct order from statue to statue until you reach the end. If you pass the statue checkpoint in the wrong order, you'll fail the trial and have to start again. So you'll need to read the story carefully and work out which part comes where. You may come across wheels which turn the statue next to them around, around through 90 degrees. Apparently this may also have important bearing on how the checkpoints work. If you think you went through the checkpoints in the right order, but you still didn't pass the trial, try checking the direction the statues are facing. You'll, also you'll notice the tiles fall away as you walk over them, so you'll need to trace a single path without going back on yourself. If you get stuck, press tab to try again. Once upon a time, once upon a time, the world was ruled over by an evil dragon possessed of terrible power. A little boy from a little village determined to rid the world of the dragon's misery and bring happiness back to all, set out to defeat the beast. As his, as at his touch, the magic wand handed down by the people of his village stirred to life, and thus he was granted the power of sorcery. Drawn by the call of the wand, a fairy came to the boy and befriended him. So together, the two of them set out to the great journey to save the world. So you go left to right. Little boy determined to get rid of the world, to get rid of the problems in the world. Read the story. Boy, wand, fairy. I already know what the story is, but that's great. That's drippy. 
Okay, I can just redo this real quick. This is the story of the first game. Yes. yes. Yeah, it's the story of uh, Oliver. He got his wand and he found Drippy. They became friends. No. <laughs> Guided by his friend, the fairy, the boy, the fairy, the boy roamed the land and gathered together a band of faithful companions. The first was a kind-hearted harpist whose magical melodies could soothe even the fieriest souls. The second was a brave pistoler, even though to, even ready to help his friends through any hardship they might face on their quest. The third was a wide wizard who took the boy as his apprentice and taught him all he knew in the ways of magic. His party and heroes thus assembled, the boy found the courage to face the, la the monsters that troubled the world. And so he's going to set out to battle them wherever they might be found. Okay, so we go from... Over here. like that and we have to hit There we go. Hey, got the right path. It does help to have played the first game. Not gonna lie, like I'm remembering the first game. There shouldn't be that much more of a story. Like you battle all the bad people. Oh, that's definitely a thing. Endings. The evil dragon who ruled over the world could not be defeated until the four towers emanating the evil aura that protected him had been destroyed. The first tower looming in front of him, the wizard lay low with a mighty spell. The second was close by the pistoler. Harpist turned to a soldier. So, wizard, pistoler, harpist with a soldier. I actually didn't read that. So, wizard, pistoler, harpist, soldier, fairy, and then the boy.
Okay, so we'll come back to that one. This, 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 this. Okay, so I need to get Drippy last. So there's that one. Okay, so Mabel. No, that's not her name. Mabel's not her name. Is it? God, I haven't played that game in over a year. So none of this stuff happened in the first game. This part never happened in the first game. The endings part never happened. Why well, screwed up? I needed to go around that way. Okay, so I need to go around this way. It, it doesn't help if you don't remember who the characters are. That's the downside. So if you have no idea who these characters are, it doesn't help you any. Yep, that's what I figured. Okay, the ones that are over there... Ah... Uh, okay, I see what I need to do. So we need to go... Turn this twice. Do this. Turn this three times. Turn this once. Okay, spurred him on with his songs. Might as get well get that while we're at it, since we can. Okay, and then I gotta come back.
Let's make it face us. Okay, and the final battle began in earnest. And yes. Oh yeah, that did happen. That's the final battle. I forgot what the final battle was like. The final battle took me so long to do. Yeah, that's right. The final battle just takes you forever. That's why I didn't remember it. The knowledge is proven. That's what it is. The knowledge that you know the first game. I was like, wait a minute, that battle never happened. Yeah, it did. It's the very final battle. And it takes your and you have to fight two of these battles right in a row. I had nothing to do with the towers though. I don't know what the towers were up to. Oh yeah, the towers were a thing, never mind. <laughs> like barely. The trial of courage awaits. What kind of foe will it be? You get used to JRPGs. JRPGs are always this weird. Oh, I can't even go over. I just have to go to the middle and fight. Thog. Monstrously muscled metal tester. Oh no, that boss definitely could have. I just wasn't spamming it. I was just spamming attacks. Evan! Evan! I mean, that boss definitely could have out damaged me. Probably not. There probably will not be romance at all. Oh no, we got another drippy. Damn it. Most Studio Ghibli games, uh, most level 5 games just don't have a romance. They have, they're alluded to. They're very much alluded to, but there's nothing like, that person likes that person. Like in the first game, uh, Oliva really, really liked the girl, but just because he was like 10 or 11, had just lost his mother and was grief stricken, it makes sense that he's like, oh, I'm looking for someone who could be, who can be someone for me. I'm your flipping kingmaker. Kingmaker. His name is Lofty.
Someone grander. Core blimey. I'm also in the Japanese version. If I was in English, you would be hearing a British accent. <laughs> You'd be hearing a British voice if this was the English version. And that's us joined forever. Or at least until one of us dies. It'll soon fatten up. You got something else to give us, okay. They do go overboard on the young girls, but that's because they're trying to like... They're trying to like, oh, that person is young. The tactic tweaker. Ms. Lofty says the Tweaker has a very special stone tablet that has all kinds of interesting side effects on how you do battle. You can access it from the main menu. Okay. That does tells me nothing. Yeah, sure. Let's go tell the boss what we're doing. Do that. Let's take the tactic tweaker. The best possible battle setup. This covers the knob sliders and switches that can be adjusted in order to tweak a whole host of parameters that govern how combat unfolds. These range from allowing you to inflict more damage on certain types of monsters to adjusting how sensitive you are to elemental damage and status effects. Of course, you won't be able to fiddle to your heart's content right away. You'll need to earn battle points in order to unlock and adjust each setting. Battle points are earned each time a party member levels up to level up 50, and you need to throw yourself into the fray if you want the full range of tactic tweaker options. Monster affinities, spoil settings, elements and elements, and then arts of war. Spend 8 battle points. You have 33 battle points. Reduce the amount of damage taken when blocking. Uh, nope. No. No. Uh, no. Can we spend more points? Thank you. What about more points? 14. Yes, I will. Thank you, I will do that. Wait a minute, there's two different... G, G. I mean, I suppose we can go up both directions.
I don't know, Japanese and Chinese can be pretty bad with each other. I don't know what Soul Land is. Poor Blimey. To the wee small hours. Oh, so the Sky Pirates are gonna, like, support us. Cool. The Sky Pirates are on our side, cause, mostly because his daughter's on our side. The first day of a new kingdom. Okay, bend the knee, why don't you? Bend the knee. Gatto, Karega Shikiru Kuzok Tachiwa, Eban no Kurino Kokumin to Ste, Kuawa Kototona, Korega, Nino Kurino Oni Naruto, you Eban no Nanga Kuashi Michino, Dai Poto Naruto. I got more than four allies. Look at that. No, it's because in this game they decided to add a complete like city building aspect to the game on top of the JRPG aspect. So we actually have to build a city. You seem pleased, Evan. I know you are. You made lots of new friends. I mean, technically you're not wrong because he did just say, I made a lot of new people and new friends. あるとの約束。うん。それでも僕。うん。これから。いろんな人と出会うだ。全部受け取る。うん。おお。元エロそうだったかな。でも。多分。それじゃまたね。What time do you have school tomorrow? And all this stuff gets posted on YouTube. It does take about a month to post it on YouTube. 9 a.m.? So in 8 hours for me. I don't know where you are. Save my progress so far. In California, so it's 11 p.m. there. So you got it in a couple hours. Not that bad. It's gonna be 10 hours for you. Oh, oh man, we're almost at three hours. I'm gonna actually, uh, no, not yet. I'll think about it. I'm at three hours. I was gonna take a break, but I'll keep going. Because we're at seven hours streamed right now. So just, just so you know, we post everything on YouTube we can. So like Minecraft doesn't get posted because that has all copyright music in it and everything. Um, but if we can, we'll post most stuff on YouTube. Like, right now we're going through Hyperdimension Neptunia 3 from, like, a year ago that I'm posting now. And next up on that is Wind Waker that I posted right after that. So, those are two games that are going up on YouTube uh, in, like, the next week or two. We post two videos every day. And uh, Final Fantasy 15 comes after whichever one. I don't know which one. And then we'll think about posting this if we can. We can't have a- we can't support a dude who doesn't even have a kingdom.
Oh no, I play everything. You could just raid a village. We're not pirates. We're gonna build a king, we're gonna need a good spot. Location is everything. No, I play everything. But it's just because RPG has a story that I can tell when it ends makes it easy. I don't, I have not played Kenshi. I was on the review list for it, but I, I never got a code. Or I never got my code for it, so. A new nation's like a tiny defenseless animal, by which I mean it's liable to swallow by the first predator that comes along. But no, I'm on the review list for it, I just never got it. I never went and actually picked up my key. It looks interesting, but it seems too grindy for me. Yes. Right here. Go to the heartlands. It would not work multiplayer. The mechanics of that game are too... Too singular. Chapter 3. The Town That Tempted Fate. I'm going to do something super quickly, so you're going to hear a loud pop, and I'm going to show you something. <laughs> 